Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Mashup Review. I am William Morancy, your host. And I have just caught wind that Malarkey has been found dead in D.C. We have no need for any more Malarkey. I also encourage any YouTubers out there who want to be political to be political. Show us how you really feel, because I feel like a lot of YouTubers are scared to share their political beliefs because they feel like a lot of their viewers will not really vibe but i'm very happy that biden won um i'm more happy that trump lost but this is exactly how i wanted this to turn out just everything going back to normal and now that we have biden in office we'll protest every time he does something we don't like and maybe he'll actually listen we wouldn't have achieved the same things with trump so now mashup review Okay, so our first mashup is from Cosmic Latte. Let's check it out. It is a mashup between what looks like Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Nate Dogg, and Gorillas. Let's do this. So that was the next Eastwood. It featured Gorillas. It featured Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and Nate Dogg's The Next Episode. Featured Forever by Drake and Kanye West, Lil Wayne, and Eminem. It was just the Lil Wayne verse, though. Uh, the intro slide guitar from Loser. And the guitar stem from Steve Miller Band's The Joker. Yeah, this was pretty good. Um, I think normally I would ask uh, you to add more reverb to the vocals, but for some reason it kind of worked because I feel like there wasn't a lot of reverb on any of the vocal tracks to begin with all that much so honestly it's all good i really enjoyed how you didn't just use those two songs you added some some cool extras from beck and the steve miller band and the lil wayne verse and the way you blended the instrumentals uh was actually really genius i really enjoyed it um maybe a few of the psh, 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 psh were Maybe some of them were a little bit off in my book, but other than that, I thought this was pretty much perfect. It also looks like Asai performed this in a stream. That's awesome. I'm very happy that uh, Asai has recognized you. Next, we have a mashup from Devon Ireland. It is Ben E. King and orchestral maneuvers in the dark stand by me versus enola gay this seems like the ultimate early 60s 80s crossover that i have i guess i've wanted let's hear it when the light has come and the land is dark. so that was stand by me versus enola gay Benny King and Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. I love the video itself. I love um, the use of the Shining intro. Like, the video is very well put together. I also think that the idea of blending synth pop with, like, some seriously, like, retro, like, 60s or 70s songs, it's a great idea. It, it's... It's an idea and just a concept that I think people should capitalize on a lot more. If I had any minor issues, like I I can tell that the orchestral maneuvers uh, instrumental was probably not studio quality, and I can also tell that uh, the vocals were a little off key at certain points. Um, a lot of old songs, people didn't like sing 100% in key. So I, I would prefer if it were pitched a little bit more um, to the Enola Gay instrumental, the Stand By Me vocals. And also, I'd recommend in the future, I thought this was a decent mashup, but I'd recommend try not to do like a phonic mind or like AI extractions of instrumentals. I mean, I, I've done that in the past and it's probably made for some of my weakest mashups production wise. You can sometimes get away with vocal isolations with AI, but I'd recommend just sticking with vocal isolations for, 
for future mashups uh, to get that production quality nice and high. You can just add some reverb to the AI acapella, some like EQ, and then you should be good. But overall, I liked it. I definitely liked the video. Next, we have a mashup from Beyond the Throne. And it was suggested by Zachary Parker. Caro Caro Bonito, Charlie XCX, Lil Yachty, and Hannah Diamond. This is going to be interesting. I'm super excited for this. I think it's almost 4 a.m. But baby, I'm still feeling just fine. So that was After the Flamingo, Beyond the Throne. It looks like the arrangement was by DJ Zota. It was suggested by Zachary Parker. The original songs are Flamingo by Caro Caro Bonito. After the After Party by Charlie XCX featuring Lil Yachty, Vroom Vroom by Charlie XCX, and Beautiful by Hannah Diamond. Yeah, I think the idea is great. I think the idea of basically putting together Caro Caro Bonito, Charlie XCX, and Hannah Diamond, it's just some seriously like PC music type stuff, especially with AG Cook and Sophie on some of the production. It's a good idea for a combo. I don't think the after the after party uh, melody entirely worked with the flamingo instrumental. It sounded like they were in two different keys. I feel like the acapella could have been better. The acapella of the Charlie XCX and Lil Yachty song could have been of a higher quality. Look for the acapellas you think are the highest quality. And uh, once you find it... Um, I don't know, I'd recommend using higher quality acapellas. Um, but overall, you know, I, I definitely liked it. And I thought that uh, the idea behind it is a very good idea. Just blending all of these like PC music, um, just like happy, bubbly pop songs, just like together. It's a very good idea. And it came together a little bit. Next up, we have a mashup from Talking Carcass 8. It looks like it's a mashup between Aesop Rock and Captain Murphy. Captain Murphy, I think, being um, Flying Lotus's rap alter ego. And Aesop Rock, legendary abstract rapper. Let's check this out. Little white flag waggling, in organic pad on back. From the panic flat on back, back to back with Mad Hatter Mad. So that was a mashup between Captain Murphy and Aesop Rock. Another mashup where I feel like, on paper, I, I totally vibe with the idea. In a way, it works in sort of like this like offbeat, like MF Doom, Earl Sweatshirt type of feel. Where it's like, the rapping isn't necessarily like matching with the beat, but in this case, like... In a way, this unintentionally, like, kind of works in that, like, there's offbeat rapping. The instrumental kind of, like, you can rap, like, offbeat over it, kind of like how, like, MF Doom raps. So it actually kind of works in that way. But I think you should find the tempos of both songs and, uh, you know, just make sure that they match. And I feel like the vocals on the Aesop Rock song were a little bit dry. They could have used a little bit of reverb and EQ. Um, but I mean, it doesn't sound remarkably off. Like, I think it actually kind of worked stylistically. So it's definitely interesting. But I think next time I would recommend um, finding the tempos of both songs and matching them with each other. Um... But yeah, overall, I think it's a great idea, and it's interesting execution. Next, we have a mashup from DJ Access, who I hope doesn't make me cry again like last time. But uh, let's see what the mashup is. All right, looks like I'm. this won't make me cry as much. This is Within Temptation, Evanescence, and Ram Jam. Sinead going under Black Betty. I'm very interested in this. All right, let's see. So if you're going to watch this mashup, you will get an advertisement that says that there is a mashup 
album coming out May 4th, 2021 from DJ Access and Friends. I will check it out when it comes out. I loved how you used the Star Wars font in the video. The video looks great. The trailer is used very well. Um, and who knew Ram Jam's Black Betty could be like... Like, it sounds 20 times more epic when it has like when it has like the heavy instrumental that it does um the evanescence vocals work well with the um instrumental and yeah ram jam on the chorus i wasn't sure if it would work or just be like kind of random um but it worked perfectly i was very happy with it i feel like the mastering is the only thing that i'm a little bit mixed on the mixing was very good. You could tell what was going on like entirely, like with every vocal track blending with the instrumental. My one issue is that during the choruses with Ram Jam, it sounds very like brick walled and like like overly limited. And I think with a little bit less limiting, I mean maybe it's the instrumental and maybe it's uh just a production software thing, but I definitely think uh, the instrumental and everything could breathe a little bit more. Uh, Maybe mix everything at a lower volume and master it afterwards. But, um, I mean, overall, this is a very good mashup, and I can't wait to hear the album that you're dropping. I'm excited for it. Next, we have a mashup from Octane Main. It looks as though this is a mashup between Denzel Curry and J. Cole. I am excited for this. Getting ready for some new school rap mashups. Cool, let's go. My daddy said trust no man but your brothers and never leave your day ones in the gutter. So that was Wet Rickies, J. Cole, and Denzel Curry. And I have virtually nothing to say. That mashup worked perfectly. This might be a little bit controversial, but I like J. Cole's instrumentals more than Denzel Curry's instrumentals. I also like Denzel Curry's rapping better than J. Cole's rapping. So this... I've wanted this for a while and I didn't even know it. Um, Yeah, it sounds perfect. Quantized beautifully. Mixing is great. Um, You did the stop the track thing. And you actually stopped the uh, J. Cole song uh, when he said stop the track, Denzel. Um, Yeah, that... Yeah, I have virtually nothing to say. That was great. Um... Yeah, very good. Next mashup is from Bucky Boy 2009. Let's check it out. It looks like it is Rick Astley and Maroon 5. I am excited and terrified. Let's do this. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run. mashup was very smooth that was a mashup between maroon 5 um makes me wonder and rick astley never gonna give you up that was a good mashup um mixing was good the vocals were in the right key 99 percent of the time there was literally only one bar where they didn't work and it was uh right before the last chorus It just sounded a little bit weird for like one or two bars, but other than that, A+. Next up, we have a mashup between Slayer and Smash Mouth. I am worried. Um, I'm very worried. This is from Hunter Forsberg. I am very worried about this. Uh, This is um, Angel of Death and (laughs) All-Star. Oh god, I'm not ready for this. I am not ready for this. Oh god, let's go. That sounded a lot more like a YouTube poop, honestly, at certain points than a mashup. Like, towards the end there was like this random screaming, and just like, the mashup just turned into a YouTube poop. But, um... Overall, yeah, I mean, they were in the same key, the songs. um, Like, Raining Blood and All-Star have been mashed up before, I know. So, yeah, it's a good combo. And you definitely pitch-shifted it in certain places where it needed to be pitch-shifted to fit a little bit better. My one issue is just, there's some quantizing that should be done to fit the Angel of Death instrumental. I don't think Slayer did anything to a click track, so it it would probably be pretty time-consuming and annoying. 
I think that's just the one thing is that it needs a little more quantizing. Um, the mix was was pretty good. I definitely think with quantizing, this could be a hilarious meme mashup. It is already hilarious, but it could be a very well executed hilarious meme mashup. Um, definitely got a few laughs out of me though. It was very, very bizarre. Next, we have a mashup from Vince and Eric, our turntable heroes. So yeah, this is a mashup between Billie Jean and Dance Monkey. Let's go. Okay, so that was Dance Monkey by Tones and I and Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. That was super interesting. I don't know, it's weird not hearing Michael on that instrumental, and I feel like the energy is very different than the original uh, Billie Jean. Uh, it works key-wise, um, <laughs> and the scratching at the beginning is great as usual. Um, I wish the vocals were a little bit louder, but other than that, um, yeah, it, it worked. Um, video was good. I saw a lot of, like, what was it, like, TikTokers doing some dances. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. I enjoyed it. Next is a mashup from Tuna Cake. Um, Leo Jimenez and Lisa. El Dilema and Rising Hope mashed up. So that was Leo Jimenez and Lisa mashed up. That was an interesting Spanish anime metal mashup. Um... It's interesting to hear like a combination of Japanese and Spanish. As for the mashup itself, the vocals were quantized beautifully. Um, I just wish the vocals were EQ'd so that uh, the highs maybe stood out a little bit more in the mix. The vocals were a little quiet, but I think if you just like r raise some of the EQ on the acapella, I think it would be a lot um, better of a listen. I'm always down for some multilingual mashups. With a little work, it could be like a very, very good mashup. But as is, it's pretty good. Next, we have a mashup from Flowzone. It sounds like the uh, the ice guy from The Incredibles. The guy who like, what is he, Frozone? I, I don't remember. Um, yeah, it is a whole lot of Fergalicious. I'm a big Fergie apologist, so let's go. Delicious definition, make them boys go loco. They want my treasures, so they get their pleasures from my boat. So that was a mashup between <clears throat> Fergalicious and a whole lot of choppas. If we just took the chorus out of the equation, this is a perfect mashup. Definitely has kind of an old school feel to it. Um, I mean, Fergie's flow on the original Fergalicious is kind of like an old school hip hop flow, like from like. Sounds kind of like Tone Loke or something. Um, yeah. I think my one issue is that during the chorus, Fergie sings some melodies that don't work with the key that the instrumental is in. But if you were to just pitch shift those, this would be a perfect mashup. Uh, I like the mixing. Uh, I like the idea. Yeah, it's pretty good. I enjoy it. We've got two mashups left. So, the second to last one is from Rev Dragon who was on the last mashup review. A lot of recurring characters here. All right, it looks like we have a mashup between Unsainted by Slipknot and You Say Run from the My Hero Academia OST. I'm excited to hear this. I am a big Slipknot fan. I don't know um, what My Hero Academia is, but let's check it out. I'm just wondering of the bitch. I'm not the villain with an ass to scratch. Denial is the darkest when you live in a hole. Why does the hell make you feel so cold? So that was Rev Dragon doing a mashup of Unsainted and You Say Run from the My Hero Academia OST. I have a few things to say about this mashup. Like, pitch-wise, the choruses work. I think that just the idea behind this mashup is quite nice. And I think the mix is decent. My one issue is that, like, the Slipknot vocals aren't quantized the entire time. 
I'd say find the tempos of both songs beforehand. Slipknot tempos are kind of tricky because sometimes they'll like shift tempos during songs. So I guess just try to quantize the unsainted vocals to fit the instrumental a little bit better. But overall, I, I definitely enjoy it. I'm going to leave a like because some loser disliked your mashup and I don't approve. Last but certainly not least, we have a mashup from recurring character Elon Becker. I am horrified and excited. It is a WAP, an Edvard Grieg mashup. All right, let's see what we have in store. That was WAP and Hall of the Mountain King, Edvard Grieg, and... <laughs> Cardi B and Megan the Stallion. That was crazy. I think uh, the increase in tempo was hilarious. It worked. The mix was really good. I think um, if you just trimmed the beginning, uh, there's some O's in this house. I think that might be a little more effective because no acapella I've encountered has really uh, captured that uh, part of the acapella well. But overall, yeah, I mean, I do think, like, Megan the Stallion and Cardi B's flows on the song are, are, like, a little bit all over the place, so... But I think it mostly worked um, in this mashup's favor. It's just a crazy, fun, meme experience, and uh, I think the increase in tempo was pretty beautiful. I really enjoyed this. Very exhilarating good way to end this mashup review thank you all for watching if you want your mashup reviewed hit me with a dollar if you want your mashup album reviewed hit me with ten dollars we're probably going to do a mashup album review next week um but until then thank you for watching thank you for submitting mashups and being patrons i love you all thank you